More than a year ago, I released this video, how to make a cost-effective, easy to use, easy to build, aircrete gun. And um, I had a lot of comments asking me to increase capacity, and there you go, increased capacity. That wasn't easy. I was trying to find a solution that will be both cost-effective, easy to make, and easy to use without everything spilling and wetting and making a mess. And I did. I took this original design that you should watch the original video and made it into this design, which is a much bigger capacity. And I'll show you how. So the key is to add the pump and a bucket. So this is the pump. You can buy it out of eBay, Amazon, or wherever you get your stuff. I'll put a link in the description below. And this pump will come already with the pump body itself, with a clear hose to pick up the water and soap from the bucket an output hose that you will connect to the grid gun and a quick connect that you can see here. This goes here, this goes here, and this is a switch inside that when the pressure gets high, it cuts the water flow, which makes it really, really awesome. So the switch will stop the pump from working and you will not have to worry about water spraying all over the place. And I'll show you how it works. So first let's start with the bucket and the pump. So I just took a regular bucket with a lid, drilled a hole into the lid of the bucket. Uh, maybe you shouldn't do it this way, but it's easier to take a video this way. Be a little careful not to hurt yourself. So don't do as I do. So let's uh, test fit this. You put the uh, collecting hose into the bucket with the filter and uh, now we're gonna put some uh, screws here so it doesn't move and fall off so I only put two for this video but uh, obviously you should put uh, all four of them um, this will make it nice and sturdy and, and easy to carry around uh, since it's plastic no real need to drill any pilot holes now let me show you some other improvement that I did to the gun itself to uh, be more efficient and create a better mix. So to the uh, gun itself, so this is pretty similar to the original design. You can see all the same parts. I just changed the, uh, the tube to a uh, two foot piece. You put the stopper, same as the original design. And then I changed this to a stainless steel wool and it's a fine gray that'll make the uh, bubbles nice and, and kind of uh, strong and fluffy. And uh, make sure you untangle it before you push it into the uh, pipe. If you do not untangle that, it'll be way too dense and create a lot of uh, back pressure. Um, and do wear gloves. Uh, this is not that sharp, but the uh, second part is so sharp, I actually cut myself doing that. So do wear gloves. Uh, once this is in, we'll take um, the uh, scotch Bright stainless steel again so it doesn't... Uh, get rust uh, this uh, I'll, I'll put this in the description below uh, you can pretty much buy it in, in your local uh, store um, and uh, use something to push this in and, and again be careful this is really really sharp it, it does cut you uh, i use this screwdriver you can use a stick or whatever you want push this whole thing in and uh, same here you need to untangle it before you push it don't, don't try and push it in the way it comes in the package because it's just not going to go in uh, once this is done the assembly is the same as the original design you just uh, connect this to the output uh, reducer and uh, you also connect it to the uh, to the gun itself to the spray gun um, make sure you you use uh, the pvc glue i did not use it but there it is that's the glue it's a primer and a glue i'll also put a link in the description uh, if not it'll just pop up now let's go to the connector so this is the adapter if you remember there was a little container there originally but here we're going to change this to a hose so this is the adapter it's a one quarter hose barb to a three eighths uh, female pipe thread and put some teflon there you see i, I used yellow uh, teflon and you can hand tight that i i didn't really see it leaking too much but if it does you can use a tool but i, I don't think it's it's really necessary um and once it's nice and tight let's connect the uh the line that comes from the uh, the pump that uh, flexible uh, hose that come from the pump itself you may want to heat it up in boiling water before because it may be a little tight to put on there and just 
squeeze it in and uh, it, it will hold pretty pretty well I, I didn't have any problems with that not holding so now let's go to uh, prepare the soap mixture I use just uh, regular uh, shampoo you can use uh, professional um, mixtures you can buy it online but this seems to work pretty good so put everything in the uh, bucket and what I did here I, I actually cut the uh, the pickup hose a little uh, shorter because uh, it seems to be folding so I made sure it hits the ground then I cut it and, and reattach that that way it will be able to uh, collect uh, the uh, the liquid all the way to the bottom so we connected all the hoses you can see the pump goes and drive it into the uh, gun and it's all ready now the next thing we need is a battery so I used an old car battery I had uh, lying around this is like an auxiliary battery it's a uh, bit smaller than a regular battery but you can use whatever you want just make sure you uh, mark your plus and minus uh, and you can buy a cheaper one on uh, anywhere I'll put a link to that okay so now I took it outside so I don't make a mess inside and you can see this is basically how the spray gun works when you press the uh, spray button it releases that valve that lets the uh, the water go in um, let's connect the battery so you can see uh, how it pumps the, the soap from the bucket into uh, the spray gun um, you need to make sure you get all the air out or the pump will just try to pump and won't succeed so make sure you drive all the air you purge the, the hole the pickup line and the input line now you can see every time i press it it gives it a nice spray of water that's because i don't have the air connected yet so that's exactly what it should be doing um, and it works pretty nicely. Mine is a little uh, old, so it does uh, <laughs> drip some water. And you can adjust it based on uh, that adjustment in the back. And uh, let's uh, go and connect the, uh, the second part. So once uh, you connect the air compressor into the uh, spray gun, what will happen, it will push air and water at the same time. So air will come from here, water from here. And once you press it, they both mix up. So just let the air out of the water line and you see you get water and the compressed air at the same time. And now uh, this is how you make uh, bubbles. So let's uh, try it. And you can see the air comes in, water comes in. And when you push it, that's what happens when you don't put glue. So with a little bit of uh, cinema magic, I uh, fixed it. And look at that. Now it's um, maybe working. Let's see. Yes, we have foam. Now, as you can see, the consistency wasn't that great. So let's take a bucket and measure actually what it does. And uh, you can see here it's it's too watery. So that needs to be tuned. You don't want to have too much water. You want to have a lot of air and solid bubbles. So this can be changed by changing the mixing uh, valve here. Or you can adjust your compressor. If you look on the right hand side, this is the output pressure and mine worked pretty good between, I would say 40 to 60 PSI. Yeah, this is the pressure that goes in through the compressor. More pressure, obviously more air. Now don't put too much because you may blow up your gun. Um, and you can see this is pretty much the uh, consistency you want to get. It's better to have more air than water. And uh, this is uh, pretty nice and solid. You can see it here in the bucket. Um, what you want to get is something that looks like uh, whipped cream, but uh, with very small bubbles. And uh, you can see, I, I would call that a success. So this is the uh, full setup. Um, I like uh, this compressor. You don't need something with uh, too much pressure, but you want to get something that can create constant pressure and um, good uh, CFM. Um, this is the, uh, the new extended uh, air gun. Uh, the battery and the pump and uh, well the bucket. So let's see how long does it take to uh, create a full uh, bucket of uh, foam. And that was one of the goals and one of your requests uh, was to create something with a higher capacity that can create a lot of foam in a short amount of time so you can create uh, bigger projects, create more of that uh, aircrete. So as you can see here um, to create a whole bucket uh, full of uh, of that nice foam uh, takes uh, less than uh, one minute. So I would uh, say uh, in my mind that's a success. I hope you use it and uh, I hope it uh, helps you with your uh, next uh, project. So you can see one minute and uh, we're done.
So before I move on to the next part, please like and subscribe. That uh, helps me create more content and uh, more videos. And uh, the next part of this video, I wanted to see how solid um, this uh, foam is. So I put a time lap. Um, I put this clock here so you can see how long is it taking. And you can see that uh, foam in the tray um, was sitting there for 30 minutes. Uh, it's only going to take one minute to uh, watch that. And uh, you can see that the foam is uh, pretty stable and uh, it's, uh, uh, I think, pretty impressive. It only lost about 10% of its total volume. It did have some liquids uh, kind of sinking down, but uh, I think that's pretty normal. Uh, you can't really expect it to last for a very long time, but it, it did stay pretty pretty well and, and pretty solid. I actually had a hard time getting rid of all this foam after that because it wouldn't go down the sink because it obviously, <laughs> obviously floats. So that's it. Thank you very much. And again, please uh, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and enjoy the time lapse.